When I first reviewed this board, I couldn't get the LED strip working. And now, as you can see, it's working fine. What was the secret? Continue watching to find out. The first thing I did then was to hook up my oscilloscope and as you can see on the waveform here I discovered that it's only 3.3 volts which means that it's coming from the onboard STM microcontroller. Now normally I drive these strips from an Arduino which is 5 volts and therefore no problem. I need to investigate what the threshold is for it to recognize the signal. Let's take a look at the data sheet. We can see then the description of the D-in as being a minimum detected voltage of 0.7 times VCC or 0.7 times 5 which is 3.5 volts. Now clearly we're below that threshold and that is why it doesn't work. Accepted practice then at this point would be obviously to employ a level shifter to take the 3.3 volt signal and boost it to 5 volts. Now that can get quite complicated and obviously an extra component to consider. Somewhere along the line I managed to encounter this article on the Hackaday website which I'll link down to in the description where it shows this interesting hack which essentially turns the first LED in the strip into a level shifter for you, just incorporating a single diode. And so what sorcery is going on here then? Well, the forward volt drop of the average diode is around about 0.6 of a volt and therefore 5 minus 0.6 means that we're only feeding 4.4 volts to the first LED in the strip. 4.4 times 0.7 gives us a threshold of 3.08 which is well within specification and so the output from the MCU is able to drive the first LED. One minor drawback to this solution and you will see in the article it's called a sacrificial diode, is that clearly with a lower voltage this diode is not going to be as bright as the subsequent LEDs in the strip. But as you can see in my example here, it's not really making that much difference in this particular case. The other thing is that I have no control over the coding of this particular strip. Other people have been able to ignore the first LED entirely, just used it as a level shifter, and then modified their code to start with LED 1 in the LED 0 position, if you will. That then is how it functions. That's what I tried then. You can see in the photo here the diode that I've attached to the first LED, and the diode doesn't need to be anything special. This particular diode is the ubiquitous 1N4148 signal diode which seems to work very well. And then you need to break the 5 volt connection between the first LED and the second in the strip and then re-inject your 5 volts to power all of the LEDs after that. And so there we have it then, a functioning LED strip. Now purists may scoff at this solution and say that it's uh, not, not good enough, which probably in some circumstances it won't be. But for this particular instance driving this particular LED strip, it works fine, which is okay by me. Okay, it's quick and dirty, but that's how I like it. Thanks for watching.